It's been three months since your escape. Haunted by guilt and tormented by nightmares. Nightmares of Jennifer's screams and the infernal temptations of the mask. Not a great sentence, but it's fine. Oh, look, here's Jennifer. Bleep! Bleak! Oh, no, she's kind of in a... Oh, a great giant vaginal pit. She doesn't have to die, Rick. I fucking hope not. She fell in a vagina pit. Oh, <laughs> Get right into his eyeball. What are we going to do? What's going to happen? There's a sort of house over there and parallax scrolling and Mega Drive music. We can save her. Wow, you're so in. What kind of horror adventure is happening? Go back to the house. What kind of house could it be? The House of Commons? The House of Parliament? The house on the left? The last one? House at the end of the street? Can't think of any more houses. The house where the ropes hang off of the bit and the rain comes down and it slowly scrolls along waiting for something to happen. A lot of effort put into weird trees. And uh, okay, there's a thing hanging up there because you were getting bored, so it put some stuff in. Just you know something's going on. The house of the hanging chickens. Well, that would be a terrifying house. House of the rising sun, that's a house. House of Cards with Kevin Spacey before he did bad stuff. Well, there's just no house at all. But it's really like, okay, you know, one of those horror films where nothing happens. You still watch it anyway, because something's going to happen. And then, I'll find you there, well you better do, because like, there's not a lot going on. Over the hills and far away. Oh, still ropes. Only I could give you the power. The power for ropes to hang from the sky and nothing to happen. Oh, there's a house. So it's a different house. It's not that obvious. Like, yeah, it's quite far away. Maybe it's to show you that it's far away from the first house. You just never saw this second house. And there's, ah, oh, it's just a thing. They can and then they, ah, <laughs> you, you need me. Oh, do I really? What do I need you for? For Splatterhouse 2. Let's play. Okay. So I suppose now we're here, we're all at the beginning of the cutscene in the remains of Splatterhouse 1. Punch, punch. Look at my great giant penis arms. Thundering ripples of muscles, that body doing anything? No, it doesn't. It's the story of Rick. For those of you that missed Splatterhouse 1, it's about weird zombies that go splunge when you just crunch through them. Do you like horror films? I do. And this is the Mega Drive's idea of one. Blah! Watch out, it's a, cro a chomp worm and a squishy corpse. Let's find out. You can get these weapons. And they make them go squish and splat. It's a splatter house. And what it really is, is a game of extremely limited control. And not a lot really going on. Hey, do you think those things are going to do a thing? Kick the worms. He does this touchy, titchy, witchy little jump. you really got to be walking forwards to make him do this big shoulder shrug jump. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's, look at that. He didn't think that was going to happen. But you can also do this slide kick. That's immensely hard to do. Hey, he ran away. Where's he going? Get the fuck back here. I want to splatter you with my splatter stick. Oh, there he is. No, no, there's to his mate. He's coming to see his mates. Look at their weird little zombie wobbly hands. Oh, what's going on? He's, 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 he's scared, is he? Let's show you what's going on. Wow, look, it's all happening. Fuck! Giant sack of shite. Look at that, it's great big move. Just gotta crouch down, kick it, kick it, kick it. That's it, and then oh, I'm gonna stand away. What's gonna happen? Splunge. Guts just going everywhere, and it turns black and white to show that it's dead. Ooh, an elevator. Full of shitty faces. A secret entrance to the house. A secret entrance to monotony is what it is. This is another thing this game quite enjoys, is these se sequences where you kind of walk on 
and things make a loud fucking noise and you stand there whacking at them. Oh, a lift going down. It's not the greatest section in the best of times. It's up to you whether you like the lift section. But you've got to wait for him to come over and then flail your great knob penis arm out towards him. You're definitely a game where you need to know exactly what the fuck you're doing or you'll die. Yeah, and as you can see, I can't quite remember how to do it. Woo! It's like Ric Flair. The ghost of Ric Flair. Boing, 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 and then bash. Now, unfortunately, I'll probably die and you'll have to go through all this again. But that's the real horror. The horror of the house. You know, you've never seen this happen in a horror film before. It's all brand new. As, uh, oh, yeah, no, as he walks off. Now that the lift's ready to accommodate him. The same enemy fell down. He enters a nice sort of rather mellow little basement. With these same sort of enemies dropping their yellow guts in front of him. Watch out. Oh, look at it. Sticky arm. Hit it once and it turns into a woo. Why are these faces coming in the background? They're just menacing me. They're just memories of all the bad things you've done in your life. What a crushing horror. Remember that time that I looked up that girl's skirt? Oh, that's what you get for looking up her skirt. I mean, which time? There were hundreds of times. The time I looked down the woman's top when I was at Labyrinth live role playing in Chiselhurst. And I'd not really seen a woman before. And she was like, going, would you like me to resurrect you? And I was like, yes, please, breasts. And I was teased for it, but I couldn't understand why, because I was a child and I thought that uh, you were supposed to look at breasts. It was very confusing messages as a young man. Such as spikes, you need to jump the fuck over them, but you're not sure where to jump. Look at this, just a shitty bed of spikes on the floor. Dressed in his rags. Dealing with the purple screechers. Look at him, ready to give me a little knock in the hand. What is he up to? Bumping left to right. Take this great ball of sinew in the face. I'll get you with a bone. I'll drop the bone. Look at that. Just crack him into the floor. Look, he was too much for me with his pokey hand. Turns out the penis is better than the bone. Also, both words for penis. There's a lot of phallic imagery in this game. Things piercing and penetrating. Look at that. Right, now we're back in. Right, now we're back in. I just loaded up the video. So you can see these green pieces of shit coming. Look, how annoying is this? Slowly crawling towards you. Every time you hit one, it just... Look, it killed itself. It just descends into this mess, waiting for you to jump over it. Do you like this little, ne little neon lights? I'm lighting this fascinating stage. Down the stairs he goes. What horrors await him in this pitch black Mega Drive screen? Except for these uh, ambient sound effects. Reminds me like yeah, the, the 90s, the first time I saw a rave video. I mean, I could not figure out what the fuck was going on. It was just like a picture of Pac-Man and it like said E equals MC squared. I was just like, okay, I think this is meant to be cool, but I'm not sure. Oh, fucking hell, like, what is he spitting out there? His soul or something. Oh, it looks like it's burst. I just a... Uh, Phlegm of regret. Oh, I was meant to crouch kick it there. Gotta remember what to do on the bubble eyed bastard. Is he gonna come low? No. Hey, how's that? How's your regret? Oh no, they're gonna burst at me. Look at his eyes. Oh my god, talking machine. Absolutely horrible. Punch him in the nose. What was that? Just a phantasmagoric figment. Ooh, of a nice little door. It all existed in Rick's head, perhaps. Stench of this foul river is overpowering. What will you do about it, Rick? I must continue upstream. This is something I say every time I walk past a river or a canal. Of course, nobody understands why. Or well, especially if the river smells, you'll secretly please. So you can say the stench of this... <laughs> Look at him, what a tosser. I guess he's supposed to do that to show you the river's dangerous. I say what a tosser, but I nearly fell in. And the zombie fish... So look, we know this enemy very well. There's no excuse for getting hit by it. Are we going to chuck another one in there? Is there a fish? There's a fish, isn't there? Got to jump right from the edge. Do a shitty Rick jump. So yeah, Rick was just a young chemistry student. 
who was helping Dr. West do some research with his girlfriend Jennifer when shit went bad and Jennifer got captured by monsters and she got like utterly fucking killed in the first one in a really cool way. So what's really going on is her spirit's in hell and uh, of course the mask here is the source of your power. Now it was a complete rip off of Jason so they changed it to a skull mask for the Mega Drive just to make it more Sega, to make it more attitude. Here's some fucking attitude. Flying kick to a fish. I mean, you can see the game's pretty samey in many ways, but like each part is like its own little sort of memory test. It's got a sort of arcadey element to it. There's some room for wiggling. Now, what I really liked about this game is, like, a mate of mine, we used to rent games from Blockbuster Video, and you know, we'd would get this one at a weekend, and you would just bash at it. There's something about the atmosphere that makes you want to keep going with it. Such as this bit. You come into the shed and watch this. A zombified fetus on a hook yelling at you in a room full of weird creature slaughter with animated garden tools. Why for? For no reason. Whoa, look at that. Chainsaw doesn't even cut my head. That time, apparently, I just wanted to get killed by it. Okay, but now this time we picked up the chainsaw. And of course, you know, we're going to bash him with it. You can get the shears on the chainsaw. The shears kind of goes at the wrong angle in the Super Mega Drive way. It doesn't really hit anything. So he vomits acid at you. You know, have you ever seen many splatter movies where just the point is for gore to fly everywhere? There's some good Japanese ones like Tokyo Gore Police. Well, that's just silliness for the sake of it. This is just kind of going back to the classics. Of course there had to be a chainsaw. I don't really know if chainsaws would be that great as weapons, but you get the impression they would kick the shit out of things. What are you doing spitting acid at me? And you know, you, this is one of those few games where you get to kill acid-filled fetuses that bounce up and down on chains. I can't name any others off the top of my head. Oh, and then they all die, yeah, all splatting around. So whether it was one of them multiple or the, who knows what was going on. In this area, but the true enemy was this. What the f ever the fuck this thing is? Look, twisted face, and you just splatter it all over the place. And oh my god, look at that! It just goes absolutely over the piece. And now he sees a building on that island. Guess what it is? It's the house. Well, so we're not even in the house yet. You saw the house was miles away. So Rick's got to trek his way down there now, with this rather jaunty little trek across the fog. And the zombies are blue now, that doesn't matter. And oh, here's a weird octopus mutant kraken thing. You know, so we don't know what these creatures are. I think we got the idea they're just beings from hell, with a sort of zombie splatter theme. So when I'm talking about splatter films, these are really like the, the films of the 70s uh, and the 80s. 92 this game is, especially the Italian ones. Oh yeah, got an extra life there. 70,000 points. Oh, but unfortunately, bumbled by a crack. Yeah, so just what this game need was a four scrolling section. Now look, we got the ore there, look, whee! Knocks them all into the water. You could easily miss that, you see, it's like a little treat. It was there because I knew it was there, because I'm a splatter maniac. And you can see the four scrolling pulling me back towards the shitty Kraken. But that's okay. You can't take the weapons, obviously it doesn't make a blind bit of sense. Why wouldn't he take the weapons with him? Right, well, if uh, that was the lake, this is kind of the bullshit forest. Now, if you fall down there, you go to, like, a, a another annoying section. This is what I like to call the chicken head zombie. And here's a cursed spirit. And the cursed spirit reverses your controls. And there's a bit of fun I like to have here called Cursed Spirit Fuck Your Mum. It's a game that all the experts play. You can't tell when it's going to be a chicken head or a cursed spirit. I, for one, do not want to see too many cursed spirits in the chicken head. So oh, I've got another one on me, that's great. But seeing as you're just holding one direction, it's not too tricky to figure out what way you're going. Don't bother killing them. 
Just get as many of them as you can. And just keep holding left, which is also right. It's like Rick himself has lost his fucking mind. He doesn't want to fall into those holes. He just wants to slam chicken heads. There's the rain effect. And there you go. Every single one that you could imagine. Oh, no, one little, little cheeky twat. Well, that's the end of the cursed path with the flashing Mega Drive graphics. But a deadly enemy awaits in the twisted mausoleum, bumbling out the ground. Who could this be? It's the king of the chicken heads, also known as the weird slide kick fuck. Yeah, he jumps away from you and does a weird slide kick, but he also likes to do a little hop towards you. And then you crack him in the face, and then he does a slide kick, and then you jump over him. And you can see how this is going to go. So the real art is trying to catch him in the back of the head with another attack when he slide kicks. Oh, which is impossible. But also, you know, absolutely fucking impossible. Well, look at this guy. He's got like weird googly flesh and a licky tongue. Why he does like a slide kick in such a terrible animation is very strange indeed. I too can do a... There you go, we got him in the back of the head. I mean, I could slide kick him as well, but I'd only end up getting hit. And also, you know, we don't want him to fuck around because look at that splat. He also is going to turn into something out of John Carpenter's The Thing. And the key to this guy is getting hit, apparently. As well as you can see, it was just doing crouch kicks. No. Mm, it doesn't seem to be that difficult. Yeah, I seem to be getting hit by it every time. That's because I'm watching out for that bit. No, you see, he absolutely sold it for a can of beans, drove off the end of Cooper Cake, pissed it over the garden wall at the last second. And so, unfortunately, I tell you now that this will be the end of our little adventure into the world of Splatterhouse. It looks like Reek's never going to reach that house. Because, unfortunately, despite the fact that I know exactly how to kill the chicken head guy, for some reason I completely spat it right up off the cliff top. And so that's the nature of horror. This is like the Vincent Price narration at the end of a uh, thriller. Isn't there just a little part of you that wants to know what's inside the splatter house? Don't you want to see a bit more horror? A bit more ghouls? Maybe you do. Maybe not.